Here are the three must-have assets that you'll need in your retirement planning. This is Gabriel Shaheen, Certified Financial Planner and President of Falcon Wealth Planning. Number one thing that you need, which most people don't think about, it's the most common basic concept of investing, is stocks. Equities to be specific. People think just because you're retired, you no longer need to take on risk. What people don't understand is stocks are absolutely necessary to keep up with inflation and to maintain not only the income, but the growth and income of your portfolio. Remember, total return is everything. Number two, when people talk about stocks, they just talk about large cap companies. Maybe that's what you're thinking about when I mentioned on number one. But in reality, you need a diversified portfolio. So not just large US stocks, but medium and small sized US stocks. They call that mid-size and small caps. Also international, developed markets and international markets as well are needed. It makes sense, right? You don't want them all going in the same way where one goes up and another goes up too because what happens inversely is one goes down it also goes down as well. You don't want everything going down. You need uncorrelated investments. And this way you get proper growth throughout all type of market cycles. You don't want to be able to ride the wave in retirement, especially when you're drawing income. Lastly, number three, this is probably one of the biggest hidden secrets in the industry, and that is private debt. Investing in private markets are huge. The thing is, it's not eligible for everybody. For those it's not eligible for, or maybe you're not working with an advisor, that's where people say bonds. Bonds does make sense. It brings stability in your portfolio. It also pays you out on income. We get the stocks and bonds mix. It makes sense for everybody, but private debt is huge. Yields could be substantially more than bonds. Bonds are public market debt. Private market debt can yield a higher return because of that. Sure, there are some illiquidity issues. For example, instead of being eligible for liquidity on a daily basis, it's only maybe on a quarterly basis. Yeah, you might have to be an accredited investor, which means you need to have a million dollars liquid or a qualified purchaser, maybe $5 million liquid. But the point is, it makes more sense depending on your situation if you're looking for income and stability. Folks, these are the three must-have assets for retirement planning.